there's a long history for us, but Paul and Zoe wanted expressed an interest in having some wide yeah, doors outside. and uh, opening out into a balcony that took great advantage of this fantastic view. I'll just open this other door. We'll come out here now and have a look. And uh, stand out here and have this fantastic view of the countryside again. Beautiful. Especially on a day like this. And uh, this goes on forever. And have an evening because we have so much skyscape here. Get to see the stars and just a beautiful place to be. Jack's just thrown. And have an evening because we have so much skyscape. Right, just a bit of background information here. Paul and Zoe's business here is um, selling houses. They, uh, their, their, their business was the first um, English housing estate, estate agent in uh, the Cruise, which is the department that we live in. It's like a county, what they call it, we, we class as a county in England. And uh, part of their business is to introduce people into the area and invite them to stay here while they're looking for property. It's all part of their goodwill and and make, inviting people down to this beautiful part of the world. And uh, so they needed an area that they could make people, that had an area that people could stay. So we'll show you this. This is renovation work that was done previous to me coming in. And uh, I've just got a few little bits to finish off. So we'll go in there and have a, show you what other people have been doing. Okay, everything you see is being renovated. This is all made out of local oak from the pile down the bottom of the garden, as we say, by a guy called Richard. He was very good at what he did, did and he's still, do, still doing it for himself. So that's one of his, one of his jobs. And, uh, but everything you see is being renovated, the floor, all the paint, paint work and the, all the woodwork has been brought back to even probably better than it's ever been seen before. And uh, you can see Paul and Zoe have got, got a real eye for all this. And, uh, uh, this is my favourite route. Again, it's uh, a lot of original features, stone and wood, and white walls. Um, yeah, nice place to come and stay. Very cheap, good rates. Anyone welcome. <laughs> and uh, there's a step, steps to go up into a, another room above. So it's quite. It's a bit like a rabbit more in this house when you don't know, but it's it, all the rooms interlock, so you could actually make it into a larger area and have all the rooms and. So if you have a big family, then they can all come down and you're all connected and talking to each other, but you have all your own space as well. Very clever. As you can see, there's quite a lot, have a lot of work, more work than you expect. I have an area that people could stay, so we'll show you this. This is all the, room, all the rooms in the house are numbered from one end to the other. So this is room nine, and uh, we're just coming up to the steps. Another one of Richard's, my predecessor. We put all this in. Not bad for a guy in his late 60s. And uh, certainly set the stall out for me to get going and do stuff right for Paul and Zoe. We're moving up into number nine. Again, a lot of work done by various people come and gone, and uh, it's usually busy, packed out during the summer season. We've had a lot of people here, a lot of guests, a lot of uh, Paul and Zoe's family have come down here and uh, people that are looking for houses and things and just a nice place to stay. A lot of people come here and just sleep for a few days and enjoy the tranquility of it all. It's a good place to recharge your batteries and uh, yeah, just a nice place to chill out. You can see a lot of the original up there, the original uh, roof, the original oak, all solid oak, not a nail in sight. 
apparently uh, if you put a steel nail into oak, the oak will rot the steel. So they just use oak pegs. If you see any furniture with labels on it, that's from one of Paul and Zoe's first benches. They were collecting uh, French furniture and sign it through Brocamps and their own shop and things. Um, they've got a love for the local area and all that. Finally, finally this is my room where I've been happily incarcerated for the last good few months. And uh, when I came I put the window in, <laughs> that's my first job was to put a window in, otherwise uh, there's been like a howling gal in here, but as you can see we've got another bed for guests and stuff and uh, yeah it's great, it's a nice little place, musical instruments borrowed off Paul, guitar, computer that mum gave me, which gets a lot of use these days, lots of French property news, absorbing information, yeah it's good. I definitely need a bookcase, maybe we should make one. Nice view again out of here. Just great to sit on the end of the bed in the morning. We have a yawning in the morning and taking in the taking in the yawning in the morning and taking in the taking in the